Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And my name is Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Beyond the documentation of a name and logo change, this photo characterizes the hollowing out of a cornerstone social network. David Paul Morris took this photo for Bloomberg News. It shows the Twitter sign partially removed from the company's headquarters in San Francisco on Wednesday, July 26, 2023. Elon Musk's move to rebrand Twitter and replace its iconic bird logo with an X is just the latest step in his effort to make over the social media platform in his own image. In the 10 months since Musk took over, he has damaged Twitter by firing top executives, doing mass layoffs, driving away advertisers and users, and unraveling content moderation, exposing the site to an increase in misinformation and hate speech. I'd add this photo gives us the opportunity to take a flyer on a lot of symbolism. The blue of the sky is really Twitter blue, isn't it? But here, all that remains of the actual Twitter blue is the exposed insides, where the glowing blue light used to be. Of course, now it is disconnected. So it's really hard to avoid some pretty obvious metaphors here. The gutting of the bird, for example, says so much about the gutting of Twitter itself. It also really strikes me that, you know, the icon of the tweeting bird is sort of sweet and a kind of almost childlike image. You know, it's looking upward, flying up into the beautiful blue sky. We might even call it a kind of almost feminine image. And that's in really stark contrast to that black background of, you know, the quote unquote new Twitter. It's interesting, your emphasis on the sky also seems like no metaphor is left on the table here, especially when Twitter's really hurting. And Jack Dorsey, who started the service, named his successor Blue Sky. You could probably see all this dismemberment coming on day one when Musk lugged a bathroom appliance into Twitter headquarters before a throng of photographers. The visual joke was how purchasing Twitter cost him everything but the kitchen sink, but the imagery also telegraphs his intention to start tearing up the place. Certainly, it's a picture of a bird ripped wide open, but if you look More specifically, you see that cross brace running through the mouth and across the eyes to the back of the head, like a gag and a blindfold at the same time. So much for free speech or enlightenment, right? It's truly a company now flying blind. There's so many versions that were published of the logo being taken apart in stages. There was also a lot of photographs of the Twitter letters lying on the ground in disarray. All very powerful and very visceral, but I don't think there was one that was as much of a gut punch as this one. We also saw a kind of bungling of some of the releasing of the new logo in a way that sort of flouted the role of institutions and even, you might argue, laws. Musk had the new Twitter X sign mounted to the top of the building at the headquarters in San Francisco, but apparently had not received a permit for it. Still more drama and spectacle with the garish light of the sign harassing the residents in the building across the way. This is absolutely a news image designed to make a conceptual point. Twitter is over. It is dead as we know it. And I like especially here the live bird flying above. It's dark colored, looks almost like a raven. And the raven, of course, is a bird that is often understood to be an omen of death or loss. 